Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Kevin Siever. I'm a trusted lawyer since 1991, a recognized expert, successfully fighting the Department of Children and Families, more commonly referred to as DCF, throughout the entire Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Today, I want to talk about a very serious subject, false allegations of sexual abuse by DCF. I had a father come into my office and sit across from me and tell me a story that he just can't make up, that his ex-wife had claimed he had sexually abused his daughter. He was just completely overwhelmed. The mother had gone to the doctor's office and had claimed that the father had sexually abused the daughter. The daughter spoke to the doctor, and in the medical records, it stated that this had only happened once. As the story progressed, the daughter had told various other individuals that it had happened more than once, and then the last person she interviewed with, she had said that it had happened almost every time she was with her father. But the real important critical factor that helped make this allegation false was when mother went to the police station with a plastic bag inside of it a pair of allegedly the daughter's underwear. On the underwear was various stains of semen. The police sent it to the district attorney's office where criminal charges ensued and the underwear then went to the state crime lab where it was determined that there wasn't one, not two, not three, but four different specimens of sperm on the underwear in the crotch area. My client, profusely claiming his innocence, went down and did a DNA sample, which came back and showed that his DNA was not on the daughter's underwear. Needless to say, the criminal case went south and so did the DCF case right behind it. If this video was educational and informative, please share it with your family and friends. Be sure also to join my subscription to my YouTube channel for other videos to help you successfully fight DCF. Thank you for watching.